Hello there, Chef Femi here, and today we are demystifying Cornish hens. Well, Cornish hen is those little packaged little baby chickens that nobody knows what to do with them. Today, we're going to tackle that and show you that you can purchase them and make a great dinner that tastes delicious and healthy and good for you. So we have washed our Cornish hands, and now we're going to cinch them a little bit on an open flame to just firm up the flesh. We're going to brush the birds with harissa. Harissa gives it a nice spice. We're going to season liberally with kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper, and we're going to stuff them with some citrus and herbs. These will impart great flavors, and I have fresh thyme, oregano and sage. We're just going to tie up the legs together very quickly, and these will go in a 375 oven for about 45 minutes or until they reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees. And what better vegetable to accompany our Cornish hen than uh, acorn squash that I'm going to roast at the same time now that the chicken went in. So we're going to season it with a little bit of honey. Just a drizzle. Drizzle of honey complements the sweetness of the acorn squash. And if you choose any other squash, that's your call. A little bit of cinnamon here for the seasonality as well. And a little bit of dabs of butter. So these baby Cornish hens are going to be uh, served with quinoa. And quinoa is an Andes seed. It is not a grain, totally grain. But we need to impart a lot of flavor into it because it's as boring as rice if you do not season it well. So here's what it looks like. Tiny grains, almost looks like couscous, if you're familiar with couscous. Um, but this one packs a big punch in magnesium and B6 and lots of good things. Um, so we have some olive oil in our pan, and we're going to start with all this quinto of vegetables. We're going to start with some onions to impart lots of flavor and sweetness to the dish. We're going to quickly saute that. Okay, once the aromatics are in, the quinoa will follow suit. So we're going to continue after this with the bell pepper, red and green, carrots and celery. A quick toss. We're going to season them with kosher salt and black pepper. At this point, we add the quinoa and we toast it as well. We're going to toast that for about two or three minutes. Now, this is the time we add the garlic. If we added it any time earlier, it would burn. I'm going to quick toss it. And like I said, one cup of quinoa goes with one and a half cups of liquid. And I'm using homemade chicken stock right here. We're going to bring this to the boil, cover it, and simmer it for 15 to 20 minutes on really low heat. Our quinoa should be done by now. 15, 20 minutes elapsed. Look at that. Beautiful grains or seeds however you want to call them. And here we have some fresh herbs. We're going to fold them in there. Basil, oregano, and thyme. Ah, what the heck? We'll go with the whole thing. And lemon zest. Lemon zest, I never waste my, my zest. I use the zest somewhere and the juice somewhere else. There it is. Our Cornish hen is ready and perfectly cooked. We're going to serve it with our squash wedges and our quinoa. And this is so delectable, you would like to copy this recipe. Bon appétit!